Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today video, I will try to explain how we can create Amazon child account or how we can give child access to our virtual assistant. Let's start. Open your Amazon Seller Central and just log into your Amazon Seller Central. You know, why we give child uh, access to our VA? Because sometimes I want to hire someone to help me, to support me to for listing, for manage the inventory and so on. So for that, I need to create a child account to, uh, uh, to hire someone to help me to, to uh, manage my account, right? So let's start how we can create child account. You have to go and click on setting and then you have to click on user permission. You can see that I already give access to one of my, uh, one of my virtual assistant. If I want to give uh, uh, or uh, give access to another user or I want to add another new user, I can add just I will write here his name and here I will write the email and after that I will select the language you can select and just click on invite. After click on invite, the VA will receive an email of your invitation right and now for example he will go to his email. And now you can see that he received a email that you have been invited to become a authorized user. So now he received an email and he have to create or uh, create his own account, right? So he have to click on this link. After click on this link, he will uh, he will have this type of interface. If he have already have account, he just need to log in. In other case, he just have to click on create your Amazon account. Now he will just write his name, for example, and here he will write his email, right? And uh, here he have to choose his password. And he will choose his password here. And now he will just click on create. Okay, save. Now he will receive uh, OPT on his email he have to go and again open his email and he will copy the uh, OPT code and he will just copy here and paste here and now he will create your Amazon account. Now you can see that uh, invitation accepted you know uh, you now have to limited access to account right so it means that he already accept my request and now again he ha I need to be login he have to sign in right now he just have to have to uh, sign in, in in account right he just have to write his uh, email and password and just he, uh, he have to click on sign in and now so now he can, he already uh, create his account now uh, from the from my side I need to give them some uh, permission right so now the admin have to log in again uh, his account and now you can see that when you refresh my page here you can see that now you can see that this uh, user have uh, like you have to manage the permission right you have to click on manage permission and now there are different uh, functionalities that uh, user permission that you can give to your uh, virtual assistant or the person someone who's working for you right so for view uh, for the uh, advertising you have to click on uh, all you can select view and edit because there are four types none if you click on none he cannot see anything if you click on view he will see the uh, these uh, uh, things if you click on view and edit he can view and also can, he can add it if you click click on admin he will become an admin right but i think if you want to give access to your uh, va should try to give uh, give him permission only view and edit or view right so it will be better and you can want to give a, a permission for manage refund yeah okay view and edit if you want to uh, it's also fine you can give permission to uh, for uh, uh, view and edit for uh, for growth and uh, you can also give permission for internal uh, uh, tool is, is also okay no no for for this upgrade and downgrade you should give because if you give uh, permission for upgrade and down, downgrade, if, if something happened, he can uh, 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 downgrade your account and it will be a big problem for you. Should, should you always uh, don't give any permission for him, should be click on none 
and for uh, inventory also ca can uh, give permission view and edit right is also fine but i think for uh, for, uh, for for i think uh, is also okay for uh, orders also you can give all permission to him and uh, for for uh, this uh, part performance also you can give him permission all permission right and for uh, for pricing is also you can give him permission but i think uh, for this one for reports also you can give him permission and uh, again 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 fine fine yeah and uh, for for this also you can give him permission for setting i think uh, here you have to see that oh yeah you all you have to choose user permission right you can give uh, here uh, you should uh, Mm, should user permission no okay you, you don't need to create his uh, give him user permission you can he otherwise he can create his user so you don't need to uh, click on this that one okay you, you click on none and uh, also seller configuration yeah none and uh, also uh, you have uh, you can if you have a store builder so click on give him this permission and this one and your information policies just click on none now it's almost done just click on continue now you can see that the red means that uh, and none right and the view and edit is a is a is a green it means that you if here is, is like the if is red it means that uh, is none and if you uh, the green is view and edit so now you give permission for these things and something you didn't so it's fine and now if you click on continue again so it's done he you have successfully modified the permission highlight and now again uh, you can go to uh, your v account and just refresh your account again a little bit different now you can see that he already have a, a permission uh, for for uh, for uh, inventory for pricing and uh, manage all inventory so he already have permission uh, from your side so now if if you want if you want to uh, uh listing if you want to list your product if you want to manage the inventory and so on so this is a small video for your information so uh, thanks for watching my video if you like content give a thumbs up thank you